Hi, I'm Tanisha and you're watching this video with JustTutors.com. Today we are going to learn about integers and in this video we'll first have a brief introduction on integers and then we'll learn about some properties of addition of integers. So before we move on to the topic, let us try some warm-up questions first. And if you want to try the questions by yourself, you can pause the video and match your answers later. So question number one says, compare the following pairs of numbers using greater than or less than sign. So we know that 0 is less than 8 and we know that 15 is greater than 12. So likewise we can try question number 2 that says what is 34 and 45. So if we add up both the numbers the answer would be 79. And likewise for question number 3 which is what is 56 take away 36 the answer would be 20. Pat your back if you've got all the answers absolutely correct. Now let's move on to the topic. So far we've come across positive numbers numerous times in our life. But you ever thought that where do we use the negative numbers? So remember the time when you were in the elevator and when you go to the basement it shows minus 1 as the floor number. So what are these numbers called? Well in maths if we want to refer the positive and negative numbers all together we have a word for it. And that is what integers are. So integers include counting numbers their negatives and zeros. For example, 10 minus 10 minus 25 25, 0 minus 230 230 all are called the integers. Let's come to the next slide that says now as we perform operations on positive numbers we can do the same with the combination of positive and negative numbers as well. That is the integers. So if on a number line we add a positive integer we move to the right. So let's say we we are doing 2 add 3 which is equal to 5. So 5 is to the right of 2 where 3 is the positive integer that we are adding. Likewise, if we subtract a positive integer, we move to the left. So the example is 5 take away 3 is 2. So 2 is to the left of 5 where 3 is a positive integer. Likewise, add a negative integer, we move to the left. So 5 add minus 2 is equal to 3 where 3 is to the left of 5 and minus 2 is a negative integer. Likewise, subtract a negative integer and we move to the right. So 5 take away minus 2 is equal to 7 where 7 is to the right of 5 and minus 2 is a negative integer. Now let's move on to some properties. So the first property is the closure property that says integers are closed under addition. So in general for any two integers a and b, a plus b is an integer always. Let's try to insert some values for a and b. So if we write down a as minus 2 and b as 4, the sum would be 2 which is again an integer. So it doesn't matter if you swap the digits, that's going to be 4 add minus 2, that will be 2 again which is an integer. Likewise, let's go for the commutative property. So this property tells us that the sum of two integers remains the same even if the order of the integers is changed. If a and b are two positive integers, then a plus b is equal to b plus a always. So again, we can try with some digits in it. Minus 2 at 3 is equal to 3 at minus 2. In both the cases, answer is going to be the same, which is 1. So both the sides are equal to each other. Now let's move to the next property which is associative. So this property tells us that we can group integers in a sum in any way we want and still get the same answer. So addition is associative for integers. In general a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c where 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 4. So if we solve them both the sides with respect to the brackets on both the side the answer would be 9. So this was the associative property and now we've got some questions. This is the question number 1, then question number 2 and 3. So you can pause the video and try all the questions by yourself but do not forget to match your answers right here. Thank you for watching the video. For more please log on to justtutors.com.